picture for one minute how you might respond if through those doors came a three-legged blue moose with a top hat on it. Certainly, it would be disruptive. No kidding. Um, it would also pose a whole bunch of questions. And what I'd like to illustrate is how what I see of academia and what I see of industry is this unexpected, and the way they handle unexpected varies quite significantly. I want to present uh, a tool that I use as a shortcut for getting to what the values of these two different entities are. And I want to present some of, my, the, some of the differences that I've observed between these two, academia and industry. So the shortcut that I use is I just invite people to, to, to celebrate what they've achieved last year. Well, tell me what, what you're proud of. What, what worked really well? So for industry, they'll, they'll talk about things like, certainly in the biotech, they'll talk about um, uh, pipeline progress, maybe regulatory gate clearance. For biotech industry that survived 2008, they'll talk about uh, financial sustainability, they'll talk about having uh, long-term financial plans. That kind of thing. The other thing about biotech in a industry, from an industry point of view is that generally there's good alignment with, with those values. Individuals that you talk to have, have, have uh, aligned with the company on an academic side, however, if you ask what were the, what were the highlights of last year, those might be things like uh, teaching, they might be things like students that, uh, that succeeded, they might be things like publication, Cy Frank mentioned some of the, the, the academic metrics that still prevail. But I think one of the things that academics will celebrate, whether it's in their metric or not, is that they did something that nobody else had done before. They came to an experiment, they came up with data, they had no idea what happened or why. That's a great celebration. And certainly from a, an academic point of view, that's, that's what we hear as success. So the moose walks in and a all, all bunch of questions are raised, and that's a success. Conversely, industry generally doesn't like surprises. If you're $100 million into phase three clinical trials, that is not the time to find unexpected data. So trying to reconcile these two and my role at Innovate Calgary, I spend a lot of time trying to, trying to develop projects that sit between these two spheres. So things that, that, we, that we do is to very deliberately design projects that try to maximize the overlap of these two disparate value systems. We also try to create new value systems. And this was mentioned yesterday. Uh, Richard Hawkins mentioned about creating new values and the, uh, uh, the benefits that can, can come as a consequence of that. So very, we very deliberately try to create projects, commercialization projects, with new value metrics. And finally, certainly if a three-legged blue moose walked through the door wearing a top hat, it's likely it's the first time that we'd have seen that, so we'd have put a Canadian patent on that before releasing it into the public domain. So. Thank you, folks. <laughs>